Welcome back everybody. Now we're just going to discuss the Fabric Controller. So, Fabric Controller is a significant part of Microsoft Azure architecture. What is that? For that I need to draw a diagram which would illustrate and help you learn more about Fabric Controller. For that I will simply just go here and pop up my paint.net. So you can download it free. And, uh, sorry for this. <laughs> And there you go. So, number one is that we all know that we have a physical machine there. So let's start from the physical machine. Physical machine. And then we just have some verticals here. And for that I would need some kind of these kind of rectangles. So this is the first vertical of ours. This might be the second one. And this is the third one. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is that we are need needing more uh, sorry for this. More and more shapes. So for example I would use an ellipse and there you go and then we would have to draw an ellipse here as well and then we would be recording an ellipse here, sorry for this <laughs> but consider it as a vertical as well so next I would just simply be needing a square and we'll draw it here and there you go. Then I would simply go back to the text. Just make it a bit smaller. And so now, this is a physical machine. Now, what is the what you need to know is that this is there is I would say hypervisor, which is actually optimized for Microsoft Azure. So if I just say that it is hypervisor optimized for Microsoft Azure, so that would be quite right. And there you go. So, as a physical machine, and just running on a hypervisor which is optimized for Microsoft Azure. So now what I would be having is that this is the root partition, and Here I have a fabric agent. I would discuss all of the stuff, but for now I would just have to draw the diagram. And here I would have, I would say, it would be more likely, hmm, but for that I would just tell you guys that it is a uh, guest operating system which we call is a virtual machine. So here you have a root partition, here you have a fabric agent and uh, now what we do is that this is I would say compute role and after that here is a guest agent. After we have a guest agent here we also have a guest agent here and then compute row and basically I would say this is a guest operating system this is also you can say my VM running here um, I would like to put it in this <laughs> there you go so when thinking about the components of the services provided by Microsoft Azure we wonder how all it works 
and what is happening in the cloud it seems very complex from our end uh, so this is basically the physical architecture of these services to have a better understanding of the fabric controller so I would simply say that here we would just grab a pencil and we would just make it red so these two guys are communicating with each other that is compute role and the guest agent meanwhile this guest agent is communicating with the fabric agent and this guest agent is also communicating with this fabric agent and whereas this fabric agent is communicating with the fabric controller here and uh, here I am I'm having a root partition and just like computer role computer role is communicating with the guest agent here same goes for this and this computer role is uh, communicating with the guest agent so inside the data center there are many machines and several aggregated by switch so uh, we say uh, we can say that uh, fabric controller is brain of your service that analyzes processes and make the scenes so fabrics are I would say the group of machines in Microsoft data center which are aggregated by a switch the group of these machines is called a cluster so whenever you just uh, are told by uh, told about cluster so you'd be having an idea that uh, fabric are a group of machines in Microsoft data center which are aggregated by switch whereas the group of these machines here is called a cluster so each of the cluster is managed and uh, owned by a fabric controller there you go I can simply just type in here a fabric fabric controller so there uh, we are having uh, a lot of things just like load balancers switches and each machine has a fabric agent running inside it just like you are able to see fabric agent this is the guest agent and this is also guest agent so you have a fabric agent running here so when uh, selecting a visual machine offering by a Microsoft Azure service uh, there are a lot of options for example 768 MB with a single core and uh, with a 20 GB of uh, instance or maybe as large as maybe 14 gigs of RAM, 8 core CPU, and 2040 gigs of hard disk. So, when a user choose one of the virtual machines, the operating system basically patch update and software updates are performed by the fabric controller here. It decides where the new application should run when, and uh, I would say, where. Uh, uh, maybe uh, which is the one of the most important function of the fabric controller that uh, it tells that uh, where the application should run and uh, where it should deploy all of the stuff there so this is how uh, I would say the complete uh, fabric controller works and this is I would say the brain of cloud computing nowadays and uh, if I would say this is brain of Microsoft Azure uh, cloud computing of the data centers there so it won't be wrong so I hope you get a bit of idea about the fabric controller and uh, just uh, for you guys who are watching here I would ask you guys to post the questions if you are having any and uh, if you want to learn more about this ask me the question and I'll be answering you so uh, Thank you for this tutorial as well and in the next video we will discuss something more about Microsoft Azure and later on we will just move to the hands-on sessions as well.